Good morning. Welcome back to Windy Hill Kennel. This is Fiona's kids. These guys are four weeks and a day old. These are a lot bigger than Carrie's kids. Um, so today we're going to do two things. We're going to give you their, um, they're really all so different. I don't need the microchipper, but I'll give you microchip numbers. And we're going to do, um, get rid of my laundry basket. Um, then we're going to bring Fiona, Fiona, yeah, Fiona out. Um, and that'll make them a lot more comfortable because they've never been out here on the concrete. So, uh, let's get started. This one is the really dark Merle with the really cool spots. And microchip number is 6540. So, no blue eyes. Um, okay, let me get your feet. Let me get your feet. There you go. You're fine. You're not going to fall. Eyes are open though. Really, really good. I trimmed the faces yesterday. Uh, so you probably saw that in the pictures. Uh, faces were trimmed. Their weights are on the website. This is 6536. Let me see your peepers. I know it. I'm so sorry. I got the sun in your face. I don't think there's blue eyes, but this one has a possibility. But it's still too early to tell. About five and a half to six weeks we'll be able to tell you. But they're doing super good. They have coats like mega mega thick just really really nice coats all of them do i know i see ya all right you're trying to hide so let's get you this is the chocolate this is a male 6543 is his number and these guys are all doing really good they're really fat he was so hard to see his face in the beginning because he was so fat and his hair hung over his face they have super super nice coats they're just really nice babies. And this is, uh, Vanessa's ready to swipe this one and take it home. Um, this one is the Buff Phantom, 6534. This coat is phenomenal, but look underneath that coat. There's where we're going. This puppy is going to be, oh wow, probably extremely light buff from the looks of it, but every other hair in here is a dark hair coming out beside a light hair. So this is a chameleon. I'm not sure what to tell you it's going to end up as. But beautiful, beautiful coats on all these guys. And last but not least is this one. 6533. This is the Merle. This is a female. And this coat is awesome. They all have, Fiona always has phenomenal coats. Super, super thick. Nice babies. Big, healthy babies. And you're going to turn colors too. See the face around where I shaved? I think that's probably where you're going. On a schnauzer, the last thing to change is the back. So this is a typical coat from a, a, being the mother being a schnauzer. There's the same color. I'll bet you this puppy and this puppy turn out. This will probably be a silver merle when it's finished. Are you licking my finger? Are you licking my finger? But nice, nice babies. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go grab Fiona. Um, I'll bring her out. They have had their second worming. They'll get their first shots at six weeks old. I know, you're scared, but you'll be all right. And they'll get uh, another worming at uh, six weeks and eight weeks. If they're still here at nine weeks, they'll get their second shot. This one's already comfortable enough. The tail's up in the air, and he says, I'm wagging my tail, and I can chew on you, but there's no teeth in there yet. So we'll be back in a minute with Fiona. All right, Vanessa's on her way out with Fiona. Fiona needs a haircut. Uh, I'm gonna give her a starter back on a skirt. We cut her hair completely off for puppies. So now it's time to go back and take that hair back off again and give her a skirt. She's doing really good. Once these puppies realize she's out here, they will move around more. Um, they'll follow her. The little chocolate one's tail's going. And I would suspect Vanessa will probably have, Fiona went over there to potty, I guess. And normally Fiona comes out here and does her thing in here also. <laughs> so we are probably gonna have to clean up a mess here in a minute. Uh, you may have to watch her, she may wanna go over. This is only 24 inches tall. Not a problem for Fiona to scale it. So uh, we'll have to make sure she doesn't try and go over and hurt herself going over the top. There they go. They says, oh, there's mom. See the tails start going? Tails mean comfortability. 
So they are much more at ease with mom out here. It's a new experience. They've never been out here on the concrete. Uh, we're actually down here in front of the kennel. Uh, clear up in that the shop and the house is up there. So this makes it a nice place in the mornings to do this because we're total shade down here. Afternoon, this is pure sun. Can you pull that fence out a little bit farther in the grass so if she does decide to do her business, she can get in the grass? We're preparing for Fiona to do this to us. Um, let's see, couple things, and I can't, I didn't look at the sheet to tell you who we're shipping and who we're not shipping. Um, if we are shipping you your puppy on top of your crate, you will receive your health card, your spay neuter sheet, you'll get your microchip information sheet where you can change the microchip to your name from my name. And um, there will also be some extra dog food on top. I put them in two gallon, two bags that are a gallon a piece and I put all the paperwork inside with the dog food but it is in another baggie so it doesn't get oily off of the dog food. So that will be on your creative for shipping. Um, this summer we will be shipping Delta 100%. Um, for some reason, uh, I'm sorry, we'll be shipping United 100%. For some reason, Delta has gone to, uh, they've dropped their Pet First program, which I know cost them a lot of extra because they actually have a private company um, go out to the airplane, put the puppies on in the air conditioning, and pick them up at the plane when it lands in their destination, uh, and puts them right back in the air conditioned van and takes them to the terminal. So Delta has dropped that. Uh, they no longer are doing that. So unless you live in a pretty cool climate area where we can hit maybe a rainy day, you can pretty much bet your boots we're going United. Uh, United is an awesome way to fly. They actually were a little bit better than Delta's Pet First program anyway. Um, puppies are put in the plane at the term or put in the air-conditioned van at the terminal. They're taken to the plane. They are handed off uh, to someone in the plane and put in the air-conditioned cubicle for live animals. Their crates are strapped down. You do not have to worry about this puppy on the flight at all. It's the same air, the same pressure, the same everything in the live animal cargo. And federal law regulates how we ship these guys. Um, I know some people for adult dogs give them a sedative. You are no longer allowed to do that. That is a federal offense. Um, there's no reason to do it with puppies. These guys will get off the plane just as happy and bouncy as they were when they went on the plane. It is not traumatic for them. So please don't be afraid that if we ship your puppy, something horrible is going to happen. Worst case scenario, the plane crashes. And that's very, very seldom and far and few between, thank the Lord. But car wrecks are much more prevalent. So it is actually safer to ship your puppy if you're really a long distance than it is to pick up your puppy. But we're always glad to see you. So whatever you guys decide is fine. She sees herself in the door behind us. And now she sees Vanessa. She said, hi guys. She sees there, she's back looking in the door. <laughs> um, Fiona is, for many of you that don't know, she's half standard schnauzer and half miniature schnauzer. So it is, um, that's, why of her, that's why her size. And by breeding her to Matrix, we get the larger mid-sized puppies. So, um, these guys are really doing well. If you watch Carrie's uh, video, they're the same age. They were born the same day, and you can see the difference in the size. So, these guys um, are quite a lot larger than Carrie's. They are going to learn how to use a doggy door. Um, actually, probably today we'll switch them to a door in the kennel that they can actually go and outside or inside, whichever they prefer. And they're starting to nibble on dog food, but they still like mom for moral support and they still do nurse. So, and that'll continue till about six weeks old and then we'll start to wean them. But usually mom weans them off before we decide to wean them off. So, uh, let's see, we're up to about 10 minutes. So I got a couple more minutes. Um, next week we will not bring her out here. We're going to put collars on them. Depends on if they're comfortable or not. If they're still a little bit uncomfortable, we'll bring mom too. But Fiona wants to get in your lap the whole time, and it's a little bit tough to give them their collars with Fiona. 
but they will get their new collars next week. So if you have any questions, if you have not booked in for a puppy pickup, please give me a call. And if you have not received your videos and your vitamin information, give me a call or shoot me a text because they were all sent out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great weekend and I'm just about out of time. Talk to you later.